Oh, Jerry Sir? Yeah. Right. What's up, guys? I'm over here at the shop spot, AKA Mikey's, where all the shenanigans seem to happen. Yeah. Today, we're gonna yank this thing out of the weeds that's been back there for, I don't know, what, six so months? Oh yeah, at Sinking least. in the ground a little yeah. bit. Uh, we tried to start it, no go. So we're gonna see if we can yank it out with the Yoda, which weighs about, what, half as much as that thing probably? I would guess so. Just got this new rope from Off-Roading Gear. It's a uh, seven eighths inch kinetic rope. Kinda itching to try this thing out. She's a beaut. So what do you think? think we'll be able to yank her out? I have a feeling that might do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a shot. It's a big boy. So we wrapped it around the front because there's no hooks on the uh, Land Rover. And uh, just for insurance, in case whatever's holding this on is rusted, we put the rope through this tire uh, just to kind of give it something to keep things from flying forward should it rip off the front we think it'll be all right and then of course we're connected right here on the Yoda and that ain't going anywhere Well, that was uh, that worked better than I expected. Got her on the first try. Not too Pulled shabby. this pig right out of there. <laughs> All right, we'll bring her around the front. Oh, she definitely flat. Not bad for sitting for a while. It's growing some kind of uh, algae on the yeah. doors. <laughs> Science experiment. So there you go. That's why you need a kinetic rope instead of a chain. If this 2,800-pound Toyota can pull out that beast from the field with a flat tire with that little effort this guy right here is staying in my truck from now on if you're wondering this is their uh, 7 8 inch recovery rope breaking strength uh, 28,600 pounds 20 foot rope and uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description in case you're looking to pick one of these up Not sounding great. 